In this lesson, I'll walk you through installing the custom brushes and other content for my Krita training course. You'll need to download the resource files from the course page before moving forward. This is a compressed folder that you'll need to extract using a free application called 7-Zip or by using the extractor built into your operating system. You can do this by right-clicking on the file. Once extracted, you'll be able to install the contents. You'll be installing these files into Krita using various methods. I will explain what all of this custom content can do throughout the course. Let's start with the brushes and workspace. I'll run Krita, then open Settings, Manage Resources, and click on Import Resources. Select the three bundles for brushes, brush tips, and workspace. These will install my custom brushes and a custom layout. You'll see the brushes appear in the Brush Presets panel. There are also categories or tags you can use to filter out only my brushes. In the top right menu, you can choose to enable and disable any of the brush bundles you have installed into Krita. You can also go to Settings Manage Resource Library to activate or deactivate these. Next, we'll activate the custom workspace from the window menu. This will arrange the Krita UI to match my demonstrations. The remaining content needs to be placed inside of one of Krita's application folders. In the Manage Resources menu, click on Open Resource Folder. Adding content to this folder is how you get it to show up in Krita. We'll be copying my custom content here, but any content you have created, such as brushes, keyboard shortcuts, or preset canvas sizes can be found here as well. Copy the custom AR profile to the input folder. This will install a custom AR canvas input settings profile, which has some custom keyboard shortcuts. Next, copy the entire predefined image sizes folder to the Krita resource folder. This will load some predefined canvas sizes you can choose from in the new document menu. After that, you'll need to close and reopen Krita to get it to recognize the files you added. Next, in Window Configure Krita, choose the custom AR Canvas Input Settings profile. Then, in Keyboard Shortcuts, choose the custom AR profile. This is a set of more keyboard shortcuts. Once you are finished, you should now have a workspace that very closely matches the one I am using in my course. Rather than install everything from my workspace, if you'd like to extract any of the individual brushes or files from my bundles, simply duplicate the bundle file and rename it to a zip file. This will allow you to see the custom content within a bundle. The Paint Op Presets folder is where you'll find the brushes. Copy these to the same folder in the Krita resource library. It's important to note that you need to use underscores rather than spaces in the file names of your brushes, otherwise they may not be detected by Krita when you import them. Simply rename the files in the file explorer if you need to. There may also be brush tips you need to copy over to the corresponding brushes folder. Close and reopen Krita to apply those changes. The new brushes will appear in your local resources directory in the Manage Resources menu. Alternatively, you can copy the brushes you want to a folder and then choose Import Resources from the Manage Resources menu. If you want to make a custom bundle of my brushes grouped together with your own custom brushes, then you'll need to copy all of the brushes you want to bundle to the local resources directory. You may need to add tags to the brushes if you want to sort them into groups. It will be easier to make the bundle if you deactivate some of the other unwanted brush bundles first. Choose Create a Bundle and select all of the brushes you want to package together. Click on the arrows to move the brushes from the Krita application on the left to the new bundle on the right. Be sure to enable Embed Tags to save those with the bundle as well. After that, close Krita and delete the brushes from the local resources library to prevent duplicates. Next, reopen Krita and import your newly created bundle from the Manage Resources menu. You may need to deactivate, then reactivate the new bundle to get the tags to work properly. Now you have merged my custom brushes with your own. I recommend going into the Krita resource library and backing up your bundle in case you ever need to reinstall it. 